Hi Hamilton, happy Halloween. I hope you're having a great day and you're making really good choices. I wanted to read you one of my favorite Halloween spooky stories. And it's one I used to read to my students every year. So if you used to be in my class, you've heard the story before, but it's a good one, you're gonna love it. This is called, What Was I Scared Of by Dr. Seuss. Well, I was walking in the night and I saw nothing scary for I have never been afraid of anything. Not very. Then I was deep within the woods when suddenly I spied them. I saw a pair of pale green pants with nobody inside them. I wasn't scared, but yet I stopped. What could those pants be there for? What could a pair of pants at night be standing in the air for. And then they moved. Those empty pants, they kind of started jumping. And then my heart, I must admit, it kind of started thumping. So I got out. I got out fast, as fast as I could go, sir. I wasn't scared, but pants like that, I did not care for, no, sir. After that, a week went by, then one dark night in Greenwich, I had to do an errand there and fetch some Greenwich spinach. Well, I had fetched the spinach. I was starting back through town when those pants raced round a corner and they almost knocked me down. I lost my Greenwich spinach, but I didn't even care. I ran for home. Believe me, I had really had a scare. Now bicycles were never made for pale green pants to ride them, especially spooky pale green pants with nobody inside them. And the next night I was fishing for doubt trout on Roover River when those pants came rowing toward me while I started in to shiver. And by now I was so frightened that I'll tell you, but I hate to. I screamed and rowed and lost my hook and line and bait too. I ran and found a brickle bush. I hid myself away. I got brickles in my britches but I stayed there anyway. I stayed all night. The next night, too, I'd still be there, no doubt, but I had to do an errand. So the next night, I went out. See him hiding in the brickle bush? I had to do an errand. Had to pick a peck of snide in a dark and gloomy snide field that was almost nine miles wide. I said, I do not fear those pants with nobody inside them. I said and said and said those words. I said them, but I lied them. Then I reached inside a snide bush, and the next thing that I knew, I felt my hand touch someone, and I bet that you know who. goodness. And there I was, caught in the snide and in that dreadful place. Those spooky empty pants and I were standing face to face. I yelled for help, I screamed, I shrieked, I howled, I yowled, I cried. Oh, save me from these pale green pants with nobody inside. But then a strange thing happened. Why, those pants began to cry. Those pants began to tremble. They were just as scared as I. I never heard such whimpering, and I began to see that I was just as strange to them as they were strange to me. I put my arm around their waist and sat right down beside them. I calmed them down. Poor empty pants with nobody inside them. And now we meet quite often, those empty pants and I, and we never shake or tremble. We both smile and we say, hi. The end. I hope you enjoyed that story, and I'm really glad I got to read this one to you. It's one of my favorite spooky stories, and I think it's because it has a happy ending. And they realize they're just different from each other. There was nothing to be scared of. I hope you have a happy Halloween. Make good choices. Have fun at your party.